Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be my Vlogmas first two weeks of December vlog. I decided to do Vlogmas but I'm not going to do the like post a video every day but I am going to try to vlog every day and then post a two week long vlog on the 14th ish and then a one week long vlog and then another one week long vlog is my current plan. So as you saw yesterday December 1st I was too tired to actually say anything in front of the camera so I filmed me brushing my teeth before I went to bed and I thought that might be true again today as today was a special day at work for those of you who are like new to my channel since August when I was kind of talking about this more. I am a pod leader for a group of elementary schoolers here in Atlanta who are doing virtual school and it's been a pretty fun job. Definitely a little chaotic and stressful just with you know all the moving parts that virtual school entails but it's been pretty fun as well and today was a special day because they are starting asynchronous learning Wednesdays where the students are totally offline all day long. Usually at least the way the Atlanta public schools are doing it is a full day of virtual zoom instruction so the kids are on zoom pretty much the whole day and starting today and moving into the future until they tell us something different which with the atlanta public school system of which i am a graduate could be tomorrow where they really love to just switch things right up so as of right now they're doing these asynchronous wednesdays where the teachers have time to do some planning and preparing for the return of students to school in the near future and the kids have like assignments that they're supposed to do but given that i work with third graders they need a lot of motivation and focus help to actually get them to do all of those assignments and manage their time etc so today i thought it was gonna be a pretty busy stressful day but it actually went surprisingly well i was very focused in like making sure that we had a schedule that we were following and that we knew what we were supposed to be doing so we stayed on task which was awesome and there was also a fun goat situation there's like goats in the like back Kind of community area behind the house that we do the virtual school in and the goat came in through the gate so we all had to get rid of the goat from behind the gate which was pretty fun an exciting aspect of our day for sure and yeah so i guess i should probably tell you about the books that i'll probably be reading during this vlogmas i do have a whole reading schedule kind of set up for the month of december which i'm not planning on doing a december tbr of sorts just because my reading is going to be fairly hodgepodge throughout the month like finishing different projects and books that i you know meant to read earlier in the year so this first part of this vlog and actually probably most of this vlog will be books that i'm carrying over through from november so i talked about these in previous videos particularly my like end of november vlog which is my like lead up to vlogmas vlog so i'll put a link to that up in the cards above and i may also talk about them in my november wrap up i haven't film that yet so I don't know what will happen but you will have known because that video will already be up by the time this vlog goes up so I will just quickly go over the books that I'll be talking about during this vlog right now and then I'll probably send you to the next day so the first book is The Shadow King by Mazamid just today and actually this one I probably will also have a review out on my channel shortly after this vlog goes up or right before this vlog goes up as this is my December African Women Writers pick and I I'm enjoying this one quite a lot so far. I'm about 58 pages into it. I think I read a total of like two pages today at work because we were gonna do independent reading and then I had to deal with the situation instead. So we didn't do independent reading. And so I'm really enjoying this one so far. It is a story, um, my goodness. I, as I said, was super tired yesterday and so I didn't vlog anything and I thought I was gonna do that today. But instead, I had a very large cup of coffee at like 3.34 p.m., which definitely has perked me up, but I think it's also made me a little crazy. So anyway, this is a historical fiction novel set in Ethiopia in the 1930s and is tracking the invasion of Mussolini into Ethiopia and the soldiers that fought back. So excited about this one, enjoying that so far. Then the next book I have is Walkable City by Jeff Speck. This is a nonfiction book that rolled over from Nonfiction November that is about urban planning and the importance of walkability in cities. Then we also have American Eden, David Hozak, Botany and Medicine in the Garden of the Early Republic, which is another nonfiction book that carried over from Nonfiction November. This one is a historical nonfiction about this man named David Hozak who was an early botanist and physician in the early republic as it says in the subtitle pretty interesting although i've not read from this one 
in about a week I'd say I was listening to an audiobook of this one as I drove to Ohio to pick up my sister but I have not really listened to any of that audiobook since so I'm about 90 pages into that and then I am also about let's see like 80 pages into Stamp from the Beginning by Eva Max Kendi and this one I am reading one section of this book each weekend so it's split into five kind of mini biographies although they're not necessarily biographies and more so using that particular historical figure to talk about the greater ideologies of the time and so the second one which is Thomas Jefferson will be the one I'll be reading this weekend and then I'm also reading two books on my Kindle the first of which is Kink which is an anthology of literary short stories about BDSM I guess is the best way to describe it that are also meant to discuss the ways in which sex and particularly sex on the kind of more out there spectrum uh, is a form of communication and how it communicates different things between romantic and sexual partners. I have not really been loving any of the stories so far. I think they're fine. I'm about halfway through Brandon Teller's story in part just because it's a long story and I have been working since it's Wednesday today that I haven't been able to kind of sit down and finish that one but I may try to do that this evening. And Kink is an arc that was from Simon & Schuster that I got through and I feel like it comes out in February and then I'm also reading Aria by Nassine Hozar which is another arc that actually came out back in August. I never got to it so I wanted to get to this one before the year is out since it was an arc that came out this year and I don't want to have those rolling over into any future years. So those are kind of all my reading plans. I am starting to get all jumbled up into my words so I do think I'm more tired than I really even realized. So I'm going to sign off now and I will check in with you tomorrow. I'd Hi. like to take a moment <laughs> to say hello to the vlog. <laughs> hello everyone, it's about 6.15 on Friday. I feel like I will just every other day be updating you in front of my bed. And then the other day that I don't update you, I will just have a random vlog clip because that's how this vlog is going so far. It is Friday today, December 4th. It's about 6.15 p.m. Today was a day that I ended work at 2.30 and then I had big plans to be productive after I got home and then I laid in bed um, basically until now. And so I've decided now that it's time to get up out of bed and stop watching YouTube videos slash napping slash doing nothing and actually do some stuff. I need to write some Christmas cards because I need to send out my like Christmas presents to my friends this weekend or on Monday be so they can get there in time in plenty of time and then I also am seeing one of my friends tomorrow evening for a little get together we're gonna um, catch up and drink some wintry margaritas I think so I may take you along with that I mean obviously I'll take my phone along which is my camera but I may or may not actually film something we will see so that's gonna be fun but I need to wrap her present and write her note so I think I'm gonna wrap a couple I'm gonna wrap the presents either today or tomorrow and then I'm gonna write a couple of the notes this evening and I also am doing a game night with our close family friends this evening because it was one of their birthdays on the 30th so we're gonna do that and we're gonna have a random hodgepodge dinner of Trader Joe's different frozen things because it's Friday and we don't or I don't feel like cooking and we have nothing else to eat in the house um I have not really read that much since I last updated you on I guess that was Wednesday I've really just been reading not much at all. I am about 40% of the way through Kink, which you can see the cover right here. And that one is pretty good. I finished the Brandon Taylor story, which I think I updated you on, on Wednesday. It was pretty good. It was probably one of my favorites of the collection. I just love his writing style. I do know, having watched some videos about like real life on booktube, that it definitely is not for everyone, his writing style, but I find it to be really captivating and visceral and he definitely is very drawn towards trauma and trauma being unpacked through sexual acts that are potentially like dubious in terms of their consent slash 
um, the way in which that you are valuing yourself in that sexual act, which, you know, is intriguing for sure. I will be very curious to see. He has a short story collection coming out next summer, and I'll be curious to see if those themes, which are present in real life when we're present in this short story, which makes sense because of the content of this short story anthology. But I'll be interested to see if that kind of continues through some of his other short fiction as well. So that was good. The next one, I don't have my Kindle nearby, so I don't know who the next one is by, but I'm intrigued about that one. And then I've also read a little bit more of Aria by Nazanin Hozar, which I don't think I told you all that much about on Wednesday. And that one's intriguing so far. It's set in the 1950s in Iran, and it goes through to the Iranian Revolution in what I believe was 1979. And so that one should be pretty fun. It is a little intense so far. There's been you know, family stuff is not great. There's one family it seems we're following and the father figure is probably gonna die soon. He had an infection after a like work related injury that obviously was not really treated in the way that it perhaps should have been. And then we also have Aria, our like titular main character, who was left as a baby by her biological mother out near some trash cans and this man picked her up and brought her home but she is unfortunately abused by her now kind of adopted mother who is her primary caretaker. So you know it's a not a walk in the park for sure with that one but I am intrigued about the writing style and kind of where the story will go. I did read some reviews and I think it's on the slower side so we'll see and it is like 450 pages so I'm gonna slowly make my way through that one throughout the month but I also I am hoping if I get some good reading done this weekend, which that's TBD, to read some of The Shadow King this weekend and kind of catch back up. I'm only about 65 pages into it and I'm liking it. I fear that I've been reading too little of it to fully understand what's happening. Like I feel like I've kind of lost what was happening in the first 60 pages and so I'm hoping that after a kind of big chunk of reading this that will kind of come back to me. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there were other things I was going to update you on. I guess my plans for the weekend are things that I have to figure out, which I'm going to kind of add to my calendar in my bullet journal, which you will have seen me working on a little bit in my, what was that, my end of November vlog, which should already be linked above, but I do have a little month long calendar. And so, oh, someone's texting me. Um, so I'm going to add in a couple of things because I keep forgetting that things are happening and I need a calendar to remember when things are happening and like to schedule things because I think I'll have some like friend hangouts and also some like work related stuff and some babysitting that I'll be doing these next couple weeks that I want to make sure I like have on my calendar so I'm aware of it. And yeah, so I think that's about it. What else is happening this weekend? I will be working on my grad school applications and submitting some of those as the 15th which is in about a week and a half, is one of the deadlines for two of the schools. And then I also will be babysitting a little bit on Sunday. We should also be getting our Christmas tree this weekend. Do I also do some decorating as well? So yeah, it'll probably be a pretty jam-packed weekend and I need to film my November wrap up tomorrow morning. So yeah, in all honesty, I'm not sure how much reading I will do during this weekend, but there should be some good vlog content in here for sure. So yeah, I think that's everything for right now, and I will check in with you in a little bit. So I was so pretty this morning, but I had to stop on my way to work and show you all. It's kind of boring. Sorry. Hi all, it is the afternoon of Monday, December 7th. I just finished getting my eyes checked, which was good. I definitely needed an appointment and my prescription has luckily not changed, but instead I have been looking at the computer too much, which I should have probably known. And I also shouldn't probably do what I do, which is hold my Kindle really close to my face with all the lights turned off. That's probably a bad idea. I didn't even want to tell my optometrist that's what I do because I knew she was going to be like, mm, don't do that. So that's fun. Now it's about 3.30, so I'm going to run to the bookstore where one of my sister's gifts is waiting for it to be picked up. So I thought I'd come and 
take you along on my social distance little book adventure. I also do have a $5 off coupon there, so I might use that. And yeah, let's just head over to the bookstore now. So I am now back home. It's about five o'clock on the 7th of December and I did pick up two additional books for myself while at the bookstore. As I said previously I was primarily there to pick up a Christmas gift which they did have so that was exciting. We are still waiting on one part of it which hopefully will be printed and be distributed before Christmas but we got some time so I think that should all be fine but I did want to quickly share with you the two books that I got and also the exciting news related to the two books I got. So the first of which I got was Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay which is the third book in the Neapolitan quartet. I read and really enjoyed My Brilliant Friend over the summer and then I have the second one. It is somewhere nearby here near me on the shelf. Why can't I find it? Hello? What is it called? Where did it go? That took me a minute to find it on my shelf, which is the story of a new name. So this is the second one that I really want to get to in the near future. But I always kind of look if I'm in the middle of a series for future installments in the series at that used bookstore just in case they have them. And they did have this one for $6.99 as you can see. And they had a like slightly more busted up copy for $7.99 but I always like to check if they have them like several books deep then usually the better priced one that is in better condition is like pushed further back which is always funny. So yeah I did get this one for $6.99 and then I also got one that I was thinking about getting the last time I was there and decided not to but this time I decided to go for it which is A Moonless Starless Sky Ordinary Women and Men Fighting Extremism in Africa and this one I in part was inspired again to pick this one up. I heard about it a while ago and was intrigued about it but I finally decided to pick it up was because Alexis Okiwo is currently working on I think she has a MacArthur Fellow Genius Grant I'm not entirely sure though she's working on a project in Alabama doing like water safety issues so she had a huge long form article in the New Yorker that I actually put in the description box below I haven't had a chance to read it but I do really want to read it or listen to it in the near future and I've been intrigued about this book for a while so just seeing her name in the New Yorker magazine kind of reminded me about this book and since I knew they had a copy because I'd seen it there last time and I figured not that many other people probably want this book that it was likely still going to be there and that was the case. So I did get this one super excited about reading that at some point in the near future but then the extra exciting news about those two books were that together they were about like $13 or so and just because I had some credit from when I last traded books in with them which was probably back in like September October maybe and then they also have a very nice loyalty program that I think I must have just have spent like hundreds if not thousands of dollars because I feel like I get a coupon all the time of five dollars off but with those two things those two books actually ended up being totally free which was incredibly exciting was not expecting that so was super pleased to have that special news and so now that it's five o'clock I'm going to finish wrapping the presents that are behind me watch some YouTube videos I think while I'm doing all of that and then also probably work some more on my grad school applications because I have some comments from my mom and one of my best friends to incorporate to some of my like personal statements and stuff before I read them over for the final time and upload them to my applications and probably submit those sometime later this week. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Hi all, I just wanted to give a quick update. It is Tuesday, December 8th now at about 6 p.m. and I wanted to share some updates about how my reading is going since I think I haven't really talked to you about that since probably Friday. So I did end up getting the audiobook of The Shadow King from Hoopla. They had it available through my library. I don't understand how Hoopla works. I don't know if everyone has the same stuff on Hoopla or different libraries have different stuff on Hoopla. If anyone knows anything about Hoopla please let me know but I do have it and occasionally they have the audiobook that I'm looking for. Although their system like their interface is just horrendous like you cannot find anywhere where you are in the audiobook which is unfortunate but as a last resort it's helpful. 
Anyway, sorry, I was talking very fast. But I did get the audiobook for this and so I'm now about 130 pages into it and I am liking it but also I don't really know what's going on which was how I felt the last time I think I checked in about this one. So I definitely will be listening slash reading along to this one later today and hopefully we'll make some good progress as I do need to finish this 425-ish page book by Saturday evening slash Sunday morning since I need to film my review of it this coming weekend and also I have my like book club discussion about it this coming weekend so those are my updates about that other than that I really have not been doing that much reading elsewhere of things I've been pretty tired I had a pretty exhausting weekend as you saw with a lot of different things going on and then yesterday I was running some errands and just kind of felt tired at the end of the day so I haven't really been reading that much the past couple of days so I am only about 15% of the way it looks like through Aria and then still about 40% of the way through Kink as well. I've not read a new story in that for several days now. I guess it's probably Thursday or Friday that I last finished a story. So hopefully I'll be reading more from both of those books soon. And then I've pretty much put all three of these books, the one that I talked about in my end of November reading vlog that I am reading but I'm not talking about in this vlog because it's for a reading project. I'm about 150 pages into that one. I guess that's the better way to show how far I am. Um, but then I've also put a pause basically in these two until my holiday break and then I will finish them then. And then also, I have books everywhere. I also have not really been reading Stamp from the beginning. I read one chapter of Thomas Jefferson's section but need to hopefully catch back up in this one and by the end of this coming weekend when this first vlog goes up finish Thomas Jefferson and probably also William Lloyd Garrison. So that's my plan with Stamp from the Beginning and then New Daughters of Africa also trekking along. I think I only have about 100 pages left which for a 9 or 1000 page anthology is pretty impressive. So that's how that is going and I think those are all my kind of what I'm currently reading updates. I did also want to show you because I got some book mail today and then also officially added a book from my mom's bookshelf to my TBR. So we'll start with that one which is Drive Your Plow Over the Boats of the Dead by Olga Tol Tokar Kuzik. I don't know. I don't know anything about Polish or Russian so I probably butchered that but I have heard a lot about this one. My mom read it and enjoyed it for a book club that she is a part of and it fits for one of the Reading Women 2021 prompts which I was doing a lot of kind of prep work for figuring out what books I might want to read to fulfill the prompts earlier today. So I officially added this to my TBR so I can read it next year and then I also got a copy of What You Are Getting Wrong About Appalachia by Elizabeth Kate which is the world's teeniest tiniest book. Like this is my hand. And that's the book like it's so teeny tiny that I'm super excited about. This one was recommended in the third Rainbow Girl slash I've also heard a lot of good things about it and I think it's just kind of a critique both on hillbilly elegy but also the kind of general discussion surrounding Appalachia more broadly and I'm super here for that. So super excited about digging into this one. Probably not until 2021 but hopefully in the first half of 2021 if not sooner than that. So yeah that is a exciting piece of book mail and I think that is probably everything for today. Hello to the vlog. I just wanted to come on here and say hello. This is the vlog today. It's you have to say the day. It's Tuesday. It's today. No it's Wednesday. Is Wednesday the 9th of December. Day. Um and yeah, this at like 9 p.m. is the vlog. It's like 9.08 p.m. We just did yoga. We just did yoga. And now it's time for bed. And now it's time to go to bed and we realize we haven't said hello to the, We've vlog. Not said hello to the vlog. So hello from us to the vlog and happy holidays. <laughs> We're gonna say hello to the vlog tomorrow. Hey, um, <laughs> so just if you're on the vlog, I want you to know Hello. <laughs>
so I was just about to cuddle up and watch some vlogmas videos but before I did that I did want to update my own vlogmas video so here I am updating it is Friday afternoon December 11th at about 4 ish p.m. I got off work today at about 2 30 and then was chatting with my family for quite a bit about this very well thought out well plotted story that one of the little fourth graders in my pod had been telling me for about 20 minutes today at the end of the school day um, it was a fantasy novel involving necromancers if it ever comes out I definitely will be reading it because it sounded very fascinating obviously for like child protection reasons I'm not going to insert the clip that I sent my family of him talking about it but it was super adorable and just very well thought out he is very brilliant although definitely has his moments where his brilliancy takes a turn towards him not wanting to follow what I have to say but anyway so that was really fun and now we're all kind of in like a chill period of time so as I said I'm gonna cuddle up and watch some vlogmas videos then I have to make some progress in the Shadow King by Mossman just stay I am about a hundred and something pages let's see 180 ish pages into this one and it's 425 pages and I'm hoping to be done with it by the tomorrow evening slash Sunday morning because I want to film my review of this on Sunday and so ideally I'd like to have some time to write my notes about this and what I want to say in that review and then also I'm meeting with the book club that I'm kind of guest joining in on this month also on Sunday afternoon so that is gonna be a project for today and tomorrow I also have a few other errands that I'm gonna take you along for tomorrow tomorrow will be the last day of this vlog and then I'll start a new vlog on Sunday and I also have to edit the vlog up to this point in terms of the second week I think I finished through last Saturday which obviously if you, you've all seen all of this clips but I have to kind of edit all of those together since last Sunday or Monday I can't quite remember and yeah pretty much chill outside of that I also am doing cooking club this evening with one of my best friends for her birthday back in October I got us both the same cookbook and every week we meet over FaceTime and cook the same meal together and just kind of catch up which has been super super fun if you have a friend that enjoys cooking and you enjoy cooking I would highly recommend doing a cooking club because it's been a blast and a half and I think that's everything for now. I don't have that many other reading updates, I think. So I will probably check in with you either later today or tomorrow morning. Hi all, so it is Saturday morning at about 10 a.m. As you can see, I'm about to run some errands. I have to go pick up some more coffee bags at my local coffee shop and then also pick up the kiddos Christmas presents from a local children's bookstore. But I think I'm gonna put a pause to this vlog here and then I'm gonna continue my like Saturday activities in next week's vlog so thank you so much for watching if you have stuck around for this long i hope you appreciated this attempt at vlogmas it's been pretty fun so far and i'm excited to continue on this vlogmas journey additionally if you've found my channel through this video i'd love to have you stick around and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye